So Tyler, just wondering how that felt for you to finally get in a little bit of competition. You played in development camp, but it's certainly a different scenario. How was that for you? I think it was, uh, you know, it was pretty cool being out there. Um, you know, to wear that the Devils jersey is, you know, something that you know I've dreamed for for a while. And um, you know, a good group of guys in that dressing room that uh, you know kind of eased me into it, helped me out, uh, gave me gave me a little bit of pointer. So. Uh, big thanks to the team to you know for making this night special. And for you, just what did that uh, feel like? How did you like your game? I think I think I showed well. I think I, I played well. Uh, I was I was feeling good out there. It was you know I, I was seeing the puck really well. I was seeing through traffic. Um, so overall, I think I, I played pretty well. What feels different about you know being at development camp shortly after you were drafted versus now where you're on the road, you're facing different teams? What's kind of different for you? I think the big one is just. Um, you know, first day development camp was you know the only really time that uh, you know I'm seeing these these shooters, and then after a while, um, you know I'm facing the same guys through development camp, and then here's guys that you know, I've never played against before. Um, you know, the pace is a lot faster um, than where I play, so overall, I just think it's you know better players, better teams, and overall, it's just better hockey. How do you feel you matched up in that first? opportunity to showcase who you are. I know you said you liked your game, but when you have that opportunity. Yeah, like, like I said before, I think, you know, I, I played well. Um, still th some things that I can, you know, clean up and get better at and um, take what take what I can from this game, learn from it and get better. How long did it take to kind of knock off the rust? It seemed like you found a groove pretty early, but for goaltenders, it's always tough that first game out. Yeah, well, uh, fortunately for me, I did play a preseason game back with uh, my team in Prince George. so. Um, Kind of got the rust off a little bit there, and then uh, quickly got in the groove here. Just you know, after that first shot, I was uh, you know kind of got in that groove, and um, after that, you know, the rest is history. And at one point, the Devils were doubling shots, 22, 11. The more shots you see, the better. Did you feel like as a goaltender, do you like seeing a lot of shots, or do you? Is it more about just the mental preparations? I think you know, more shots is better. You kind of you stay in the game. You don't have to stand there for five minutes and and, and get cold. But um, would rather not have 60 shots a night. But um, <laughs> You know, I'll get 30 shots. I mean, if the team's playing well and we only give up 10, then that's, that's good with me as well. Just wondering your thoughts on the way uh, Tyler Brennan played his first opportunity here. Um, what did you What did you like from this game? I, I thought he had great kind of just composure and patience out there. Uh, our first goal was a stinker, but other than that, uh, boy, I thought he was extremely solid. And, uh, you know, it's kind of an unknown commodity. You've seen him in practice a few times. So uh, I thought he had a really solid night. What do you take from how chippy some of these games have been, particularly today between the two teams? Is it really that adrenaline of guys really wanting to show who they are? Yeah, I think, you know, you have meetings beforehand. I'm sure they have meetings in Boston. We had them in uh, Newark. And uh, you know, I think part of the message was it's really the only chance you're going to have all your management here, your scouting staff, your coaching staff. Uh, to get eyes on you, and I think uh, the players realize the importance of it. And uh, there was certainly uh, some intense play right throughout the weekend in all the games. Now that you've had these three games, um, was there anyone in particular who stood out to you that maybe you didn't know too much about before the tournament started? Yeah, I think uh, Topias Villan. Uh, boy, what a game by him for a guy just getting off the, the plane uh, yesterday, a little bit of jet lag, but uh, he had a really strong performance. I thought uh, uh, I'm really looking to see him uh, when we get to NHL camp here and uh, watch uh, him play against uh, NHL players, but uh, I thought he made a great statement today with his game. Yeah. And uh, obviously, Simon uh, Nemec uh, left a nice impression with us. He's uh, uh, got a, a, a skill set that's uh, exciting for his future, although he's still a young guy. Up front, anyone? Well, I think, uh, you know, Chase Stillman's a guy we've been uh, patiently waiting to watch. We saw him a little snapshot in training camp last year, and uh, uh, to see where he's at in his career, I think, was a good step. And, uh, uh, you know, I thought Philman was another kid that uh, had a, a strong weekend, a, a later draft pick, but he's got a speed that uh, makes him a very valuable player. Where does the mentality now for this group need to go going into camp opening with the vets around? Yeah, get get a, a rest day tomorrow, you know, and then all the vets will have their physicals on Wednesday. And, Get ready to hit the ice and to know that uh, what you saw today is a morning game today. Might have been a little slow, but uh, the pace is certainly going to pick up on Thursday. What was your impression of uh, Nolan Foote's weekend tournament, not just today, but the, the entire tournament? Well, I thought he had a, a good opportunity there today. I thought he uh, had a 
you know, on the breakaway, and then we tried them in the shootout, and unfortunately those ones didn't go in. But uh, I think Footer uh, understands that uh, a lot of times his goals are not going to be uh, uh, rockets off the wing. A lot of it's getting to the net front, and I can see that he's making a concerted effort to get to that area. So uh, looking forward to seeing him in main camp. What's your impression of Hallen? And I know you got a, obviously a taste last year. In yeah. Uh, what did you think of him either last year or even just moving into this season? Yeah, he's a big body. Uh, he's got a wicked shot, specifically his wrister. You know, when he gets a chance to get that off, I thought he had a chance to. Uh, we had a seam pass on the um, on the power play, and he was. Uh, I thought he was going to be able to one time that thing, stopped it, kind of corralled it. So I think if he can learn to pick up his pace and kind of take get in those areas where he's going to get that opportunity, and then unleash that really hard shot and uh, he's gonna have to round out his game but uh, uh, we're excited about having him this year you know what he's a great kid he's, uh, he's young just got married he's very serious about his game so um, you know he's a, an exciting prospect for us how's his foot speed coming around it's uh, a work in progress and something that he's aware of and we talk a lot about it and uh, uh, you know, I think uh, he, he put a lot of effort into it this summer, and I think there's still ways to go. So uh, uh, it's no secret, something that he's been talked about and probably the reason he don't get drafted. Uh, uh, and we look at it as a, uh, a guy that we feel that uh, has the potential, given his work ethic and, uh, and uh, his uh, willingness to learn. I think, uh, you know, I, I think he's going to be a good player for us.